Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Kennedy with Leisure Fitness. Thanks for joining us today. I've got a great exercise for you, or maybe a series of exercises. You've probably heard of an exercise called the plank. I'm going to show you that you can do the plank in two or three different ways, and you can train your upper body and your lower body at the same time. Now, the plank is really pretty easy to do. It's sort of like a modified push-up. We start on our knees, drop down to the knees. I'm going to ask you to move forward, and then drop to your elbows, and then lift your knees up off the floor. Now, try to keep your back and your legs on the same line. Hold it for as long as you feel comfortable. Now, if you can only hold it for a couple of seconds, that's okay. Drop down to your knees and then come back up. Now, I'm going to hold it for, I would like you to try to go for about 10 to 15 seconds each time you do it. What we're doing is we're making our abdominals work, we're making our legs work, we're obviously making our upper body work, and we're keeping our hips in alignment. If you start to get a little bit fatigued, just drop down to your knees. Now this position is the modified plank. For those of you who have never done a plank before and found that first position a little bit more challenging, stay in this position. It takes a little bit more of the pressure off of your abdominals and your low back. You can go from modified plank to plank, or from the plank down to the modified plank. If you can, try to hold each one, each one for about 15, 20 seconds, and then release. Up, and then back down. That's the modified plank and the plank. Give those exercises a try. It'll put a lot more blood flow in your upper body. You'll feel a lot better, and you're going to have a, lot, a little bit tighter tummy and a little bit stronger low back. Give the plank a try. Thanks for joining us. I'm Dr. Paul Kennedy with Leisure Fitness.